The latest iPad Pros feature ProMotion, a new technology that delivers refresh rates up to 120Hz. This allows games to support a smooth frame rate of 120. So today, I'm going to be sharing 14 iPad Pro games with 120 FPS support. Please note, all these games have been played on a 2018 11-inch iPad Pro. Number 14, we have Assassin's Creed Rebellion. The fantastic strategy game Rebellion was first showcased on stage at the late 2018 Apple special event. One of the main reasons that it was presented was because it was playable at 120 FPS on this new iPad Pro. Anyway, Rebellion is a free game on the App Store and is worth taking a look at if you're into the whole world of Assassin's Creed, even if the gameplay formula here is completely different. It also requires internet to play. Number 13, we have Train Conductor World. The developer for this game, the Voxel Agents, have shared some exciting news with me. On the 29th of August, they are updating Train Conductor World to version 1.14. This major update brings a new location set in Eastern Europe, a huge upgrade to the ports, portrait view on the map, an overhaul tutorial, tons of small quality life improvements, and most importantly, ProMotion or 120 FPS support on third gen iPad Pros. Now, that is a big update. If you've never played this gem, it's a high speed train traversal puzzler that is all about connecting trains to tracks at blistering speeds. Train Conductor is completely free too and can be played offline. Number 12 is Thumper. Recently, the developer Drool updated Thumper to version 1.13 on the App Store. This obviously brought 120 frames per second support, but also added in an option under settings to cap the frame rate back to 60 frames per second, if you would like to save battery, for instance. Thumper is all about fast-paced combat and getting in time with the music to get past obstacles and bosses. It can be a very challenging game at times as you get further on through the levels and your heart rate will be going crazy, but it's super addicting. Anyway, Thumper is a paid premium game that has no ads and no in-app purchases, and it can be played offline. Number 11 is Tactical. Tactical fully supports 120 FPS at ultra graphics quality, but you have to enable this from the graphics menu under settings. Even playing at ultra settings, I wouldn't say this is the most good looking game out there by a long shot, but it's still a super fun competitive multiplayer game. You have different gun classes to choose, you can run people down in cars, throw grenades, and even play with the controller. But keep in mind, controller support is limited to gameplay only. Menu interaction must be done with the touchscreen. Tactical is a free game on the App Store, and requires an internet connection to play in online matches. Number 10, we have World of Tanks Blitz. I believe in late 2018, this tank shooter became fully supported for 2018 iPad Pros. It was originally released back in June 2014, but since then it has gone through some dramatic changes in terms of its graphics and is available on many other platforms from PC, iOS and Android now. For iPad Pros, Blitz can be played at 120 FPS at high graphics quality, but you have to enable this from the graphics menu under settings. Anyway, World of Tanks Blitz is completely free and requires an internet connection to play. Number 9 is Phoenix 2. In November 2018, Phoenix 2, a great shoot 'em up, was updated to version 4.1. This update brought a new ship, bug fixes, increased detail and resolution of the first 40 ships, and obviously support for the new iPad Pros with wide color and 120 FPS support. If you want to know some more technical things, this game supports the Metal API, uses the Devs Flare engine, which was developed in-house. This engine allows the game to render the action with advanced graphic effects, such as Bloom and an anamorphic lens flare. Phoenix.2 is completely free and requires an internet connection to play. 
Number eight, we have Alto's Odyssey. In January 2019, this atmospheric platformer was updated to version 1.0.6. This added ProMotion or 120Hz support. To use ProMotion, you must enable it via the in-game settings menu. Alto's Odyssey is such a beautiful game, and it caught the eyes of Apple, who awarded the developer Snowman the Apple Design Award winner for 2018. That's a great accomplishment. It also has controller support, and since it's a paid game, it luckily has no ads and no in-app purchases. It also supports controllers too. Number seven is Vainglory. Sure, Vainglory was released back in 2014, but even today, in 2019, it's still a very good looking game and is one of the most popular games on the App Store still. Plus, it also features cross-platform support, so you can join matches between players across iOS, Android, Windows and Mac. That's pretty cool. For 2018 iPad Pro users, you can play in high performance mode, which enables 120 frames per second. To do this, you have to enable it via your iPad settings, not in-game. And I've said it in a previous video, but this is my favorite game to play with my Apple Pencil. It's almost built for it. From the UI, to moving your character, to targeting enemies and selecting powers. I highly suggest it. Anyway, Vainglory is free on the App Store and requires internet to play. Number six, we have Rush Rally 3. Recently, I contacted the developer for this rally simulation game and they confirmed that Rush Rally can be played at 120 frames per second. To do this, you have to make the target FPS max under the options menu. On the latest iPad Pros, you can play at a resolution of 2K with all quality settings put to high. This makes the game look pretty damn nice. Not nearly as good as the upcoming racer in this episode, but still pretty damn good looking. Rush Rally 3 also supports controllers, has online multiplayer matches, is playable offline, and is a paid premium game on the App Store. Number five is Critical Ops. Some call this shooter the mobile version of CSGO, and I can see why. Its competitive gameplay, modes, and audio definitely resemble that game. In late 2018, it brought 120 FPS support to iPad Pro. To enable it, you must change the target frame rate up to 120 under the settings menu. If you want to experience 120 frames per second, I'd say Critical Ops is one of the first games you should try because of its fast-paced shooting gameplay, for instance. Anyway, Critical Ops is a free game on the App Store and requires internet to play. Number four, we have Grim Valor. On the 17th of December 2018, Grim Valor was updated to version 1.0.5, which I guess you know by now brought support for the new iPad Pros with 120 FPS rendering. The game can be compared to a 2D God of War mixed with Castlevania elements. It's very deep and complex and every enemy requires a big learning curve in order to figure out how to defeat them. Anyway, Grim Valor is a paid premium game, supports controllers and can be played offline. Number three is Hyperlight Drifter. According to the App Store page for this game, it supports 120 frames per second. However, Abilite have told me that there has been an iPad performance issue reported and they are working on a fix, which will be coming in September's update. Me personally, I haven't noticed any hiccups with playing at 120 frames per second, but those reports are there and they're trying to fix it. Now, what you're getting here is the console definitive edition of Hyperlight Drifter including controller support, more weapons, enemies, and areas. It is a paid game, but it brings a premium experience and offers offline support too. Number two, we have Journey. From the creators of Sky comes Journey to iOS. Now it was a PS3 and PS4 game beforehand, but recently with the help of Annapurna Interactive, they published the game to iOS. With an iPad Pro, you can go into the settings app and play Journey at a refresh rate of 120 and a resolution of very high. 
I'd say playing on an iPad Pro is by far the best place to experience this wonderful adventure game with all its stunning open world environments and great music score that can be heard on the fantastic iPad Pro speakers. Anyway, Journey is a premium paid game and can be played offline. Number one, we have Grid Autosport. This is my favorite game to play on my iPad. It's just a great AAA racing game to experience on a large display. You can select graphics or performance options to choose either better graphical detail or higher frame rate. If you own a third generation iPad Pro, you can also select Performance Plus to opt for an even higher frame rate, up to 120. However, keep in mind, this will result in a graphical detail trade-off. I'd also have to say that Grid Auto Sport is one of the best games out there, like Critical Ops, to experience this much higher frame rate. It is a solid, solid time. Anyway, Grid Auto Sport is a premium paid game, which supports controllers and can be played offline. If you own an iPad Pro, what games are you playing on it and why? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like as I work really hard on these projects for you guys. And subscribe and turn on notifications to be alerted about upcoming videos. Anyway, thanks for watching.